Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to my 100th episode. Uh, well, my 100th episode. 100th video. Uh, I think this is the video where I get my ass kicked. Yeah, probably. I'm not liking it, to say the least. Train troops. So I need to just back off for a bit. Alright. I did, uh, that was the peace offer, and that's a patrol I put through at the end of the last episode. I do have a couple of alliances coming through in six years, the Byzantines, and in like three years, I think, the HRE. So if I fight properly... End your plot. Don't need people plotting against me. Alright, so my Demesne is slightly oversized. Let's get rid of an uh, excess castle in Alexandria. I need to get my uh, vassals love as high as I can so I can recruit as many troops as I can. And in the meantime, I have to try and let attrition do its work. Uh, I've had it with his whining. He'll inherit the kingdom. So what does he care? Alright, so they're ravenously assaulting and doing everything in their power to uh, attack the crap out of me. Which is exactly... Hmm. Hmm. Yes, I will reclaim that cash. Alright, so I have managed to get an extra couple thousand. I need to gather the troops of the realm, the uh, realm's troops together. You go to here, and then you go there. And then you all go that way, and you all go there. Because I think those two love to run, run around. Though the Caliph has a ridiculous number of troops, this is going to prove tough to say the least. I have to try and use attrition to my advantage. The problem is 12,000. Alright, so I can't fit any more than 12,000 through that gap. I already got more than I needed. Alright, that'll do. I want them in Nubia immediately. I need to let the rest of the army gather. Wow, he is just like blitzed through everything. Some in some trouble. But, I suppose there is some level of good news soon. Need to get them going. I just don't have the time to deal with that. Alright, so I need to let attrition do the work. They won't assault. But if I can time everything right just perfectly. There you go, that's the attrition doing the work that I needed it to. When they actually have to sit in a province for a siege, it's killing them. What? Reinforce the crap out of them. Okay. Yeah. That'll do. Let's see if we can't get them closer. Best of response time and everything. So a new caliph just happens to take the throne right now. Useful. August 8th. September 3rd, okay. No. Can't get close enough. And now I have to take the attrition damage to stop him, because if he wins another siege, he wins. So, if, and of course he can just instantly escape and force me to take attrition damage. 
It'll be out on the November 3rd. November 5th, alright. Fine by me. I have the upper hand. Captured several of his guys. Alright, let's try and retake Nubia now. Because <coughs> I am sitting precariously on the edge of the war score table, as it were. I just need to hold out until... Um, the Holy Roman Empire can come through for me. At least that's what I hope. March 3rd, March 5th. Go there and cut it off. 14th, 31st, what? Uh, suitable, how about the Oubliette? For the Caliph's vassals, he, that's what they get. So now, he's just going to run deep into my territory. Too bad he doesn't get anywhere else. Alright, so it appears I've precariously just barely managed to survive, and there's an additional number of troops coming. Drop my personal levies and re-raise them. You go there. You head up to Nubia. The rest of you gather in there. And excellent. 50 prestige, 62.83 gold. Huh. Uh, I'll take the gold. Might prove useful soon. But that, of course, means, you know, 5 and 5, lovely. No idea if they'll accept that. But I will damn well need help. The HRE's up there. That's why. They're, like, ruled from, like, Sicily or something. They'd be out right here helping me out. Uh, gotta try and work. Got him. Alright, so I've cut down even larger numbers of his troops. Gotten some more of his vassals. I don't suppose decadence is going to kick in. Nah. What's the Seljuk decadence doing anyway? They've just been sitting at 100% with just such massive gain. And I don't get how they're still so solid. Alright, so, I don't think I can really call in the uh, HRE, but we'll have to see. For the time being, however, McCurry has 7,000. Okay, they can go in there. I need to work towards sieging 130, and yeah, let's not assault that then. Alright, let's move forward in this manner. Let the troops regenerate just a bit. We've gotten our 3k troops up, but it's just nowhere near enough. I, if, I swear, though, there is a way. Well, they're losing ground to those rebels there. That's always good. Rebels are useful in that they will lower my war score a fair bit. Is there an ambition to just win this war? Because <laughs> I'm feeling like there really should be. So how long is it until the Byzantine alliance goes through? 1195. Uh, so what? I don't know. Uh, three years from now on October 13th. It appears whatever the heck's going on. The Caliph isn't coming again, strangely. I'd be expecting him all over me.
I guess they they're up there, yeah. Still, even then, he's got like only those few troops. I can see them all coming. All right, take it. All right, dump off a couple of groups of guys just to get below 7k. Yeah, 770 is close enough. Since, yeah, that's all that can be taken. You guys sit over there. Really? Just end your plot. I mean, this is hardly the time to be plotting against me. The entire kingdom is in peril. All right. The battles are in my favor. I'm winning the war, yeah. Okay, so, he's 14 now. Two years. I just have to hold out two more years. That is it. Salting is not the way to do that, though. But these sieges are slow, and I just get so many events that seem to decimate me. Yeah. At least the third one will collapse instantly. I can assault that. Alright, and... Oh. So they've gathered another 10,000 men. I stand a chance... Is there any more troops that I can raise? I can raise another 2k. They are pretty far away by the looks of it. I can either withdraw and try and re-raise. I might just try that. Just assault it. Alright. Drop, drop, re-raise 26, 30,000. Okay. Defense against the Caliph can continue, it seems. These two. Yeah. Ugh, I need everyone to get meet up in, like, somewhere that can hold that this many people, or close to. But anyone over here needs to go to here and then there. Alright. So. I'm gonna have to try and gather up enough troops in Nubia really quickly. Wait, that was my son. My crown prince. Ugh. I kinda needed him. He wasn't content in Craven. I think I'm going to take him. At least he prove, he may prove useful still. Alright, and... It says I won't get an alliance, but I'm pretty sure I will. Or Moro. Done. Okay. So, minus 62%. We are slowly winning. And there may be hope yet. Alright, so he's gonna be... 
Yeah, let's just let the attrition mangle the living crap out of him. Oh, and he's just adding more fuel to the attrition fire. Genius tactics. Perfect. Maybe I can't hold anymore. I have to stop them from flowing in. Okay. Still have far more troops coming, but I want them to head to Mercuria. While a ridiculous number of them just die to that attrition there, that they're suffering. Alright, so, what's the travel differences? I want them to arrive on the same day. They will arrive two days later, so... Four, and boom. 20th and 20th. Alright, back off then. <clears throat> Let's just move them up. Eighth of May. Alright, so the battle begins. And the additional troop reinforcement. And alright, I sent him back. Quite a fair bit, I would say. You guys move forward. Okay, so I am forcing a lot of pain out of him. And probably a fair bit of suffering. You go reinforce him immediately. So July 6th, July 14th. Two, three, four, five. Twelve. Alright, so literally the 14th. I'm arriving one day before him if I time this right. Alright, perfect. Go. Alright, so the 14th. And I will have the upper hand on the battle. There is hope against the Caliph. Just so long as I keep fighting, I can never give up. There is hope. Maybe if I just slaughter enough men, his vassals will revolt from raised vassal levies? I mean, the guy probably has absolute crown authority. Alright, so, 7,400 there, 4,500 there, and you guys go that way. Okay. Let's try and detract the reinforcements from going. It won't, but... Oh well. They are being slaughtered. I'm running a meat factory here. Muslim meat. Sweet. All right. Whew. Okay. I am going to take a quick ba break and be right back, everybody. And I'm back. Okay. So I went, took a dr break, got a drink, looked around the map, saw this. The entire left flank Christianity's collapsed. France was eaten. Spain has been formed. The Hakimid Empire. And it appears they know how to control their decadence. Which is rather worrying. 
the Kumins are cutting into the, there. Seljuk are starting to get their crap together, which is really amazing considering they're sitting at like 100% decadence, I think. Yeah, they, they are not coming out of that. And there I bought I baddie now, like. Yo, Khalif. Yeah, you you've got a whole county to yourself. Good job. That's an up from the barony. That's an up from a barony, but you're under an Ibadi ruler. Good luck surviving. I think a new caliph has truly risen in the uh, west. And I don't think I'm going to be able to stop him in uh, Crusader Kings. In EU3, I think, will be my best chance to stop him. But, we'll have to wait about that. There's some revolts going on in the Caliph's territory. Some revolts going on in the Kingdom of Jerusalem. And some revolts going on up here. I'm not going to actually call in the Byzantines, though. I've decided. Uh, <clears throat> it might, you might be going, well, why not? Because that's going to put them into a truce with the Caliph. Right now, I see it as, I can win. But I have a plus 30 bonus. For, you know... Yeah, he's not a heretic. Um, I have a plus 30 bonus and everything else for bunch of things, uh, the king of Sweden, the king of Norway, I could marry off to one of them. I'd say Norway is doing better. Yeah. To the king of Norway. Who is de Normandy, hilariously. Alright. Wait, was that... Eh. All right, so yeah, the Normandy. Hmm. Interesting. Nevertheless, yeah, Sweden just like is losing. Finland is trying to declare independence. Aust is this stuff tyranny. Norway will probably never help me. But eh, it's always good to have them in a back pocket, I guess. I'm just going to let the siege slowly go through, and just, like I said, I'm playing this slow. I have no reason <clears throat> to, you know, uh, run really quick and head on into this, lose a bunch of troops, and then possibly have him outnumber me. My troops are still going to regenerate. Like, I've already got another 10k in reserve. <clears throat> so, while it's probably not a good idea to, uh, you know, simply spend as many as I physically can on this, don't necessarily think I have to worry too much, so I guess I can do a bit of assaults. So 9k is the cap there now. <clears throat> and I've already got 3.6, so... I believe that's 5.2 that I want. Yeah, that should be good. <coughs> well, <clears throat> yeah, it doesn't matter if they try. They're gonna, you know, go around, I think. Yeah, if they go for Nubia, that's great. I don't mind. Oh, inherited a barony. That's great. I want to keep that one. Any more castles I can hand off here? Yes. Okay. Because that barony means I can raise additional troops there. And demolish. Yeah, they're going in. All right.
7k, 7k, it's not good for either one. So let's withdraw just a couple of troops. Perfect. Twenty-first of May. All right. Well, they can go forward and press up and try and clear the route to Alexandria, whilst I go and focus the majority of his army here. With my ten thousand men. Seventeenth of June. Fifteenth of June. Got him. No escape. What? I saw, like, a call to arms. Huh. Well, France appears to somehow still be alive. Yeah, France is still alive, just barely, it seems. That's the remains of France, everybody. Take a good friggin' look at that. And it's only going to be, what, another five, ten years until the uh, hordes arrive? Europe is not in good shape to fight the hordes. There's no denying that. 22nd. Okay, so yeah, I'll still beat them. <laughs> nah, they'll manage to... My daughter. Who was just married to a random courtier. Okay. And slaughter some more. Siege is going great. Throwing as many men as I can at him. Just to try and slaughter him. Capturing a couple of vassals here and there, always good. Yeah, how's that uh, whole war going? Hmm? Yeah, it's the war to install somebody. Too bad it's not an independence war. Oh well, it just means that more troops can't come from over here. So it's really hard for me to care enough. Things are starting to look up for me. This is why I didn't want to call in the Byzantines. Because I have a son-in-law. The Oubliette. <clears throat> I have a nice son-in-law. Who uh, may aid me if I were to say attack Dimedia. Like if I can capture this area here. It's a good start. I'm fairly sure the HRE will eventually begin to collapse. I mean, once I'm done here, I'm going to probably push along North Africa, up against and into Genoa against the Almoravids. It's the best I can spread in that direction. Because I have no will to spread into Persia, I'm just going to end up fighting the uh, medium crown authority law in Hispania. Yeah. That's great, that's great. So he's got medium crown authority now. That's just great. Let's let him walk into Gizeh. February 8th. Can you escape in time? I don't think so. Maybe. February 7th, yeah, damn. No, I got you. And another siege. Alright, so I've taken yet another. Bunch of troops out. 
best shot at winning is this. Just slowly unsiege everything and slowly win in troop numbers. Well, Petrozel can go through. I don't really think it matters at this point, but okay. So I can call in him. Why can't I call in him, however? I guess because he's in Civil War or something. Fair enough. 2nd of June and on the 8th. Alright, so I'll head him off and catch him. It's always important to do that. Oof, considering I came from 90% war score, I have been able to work my way back. Yeah, even that, I mean, yeah, too far away. Minus 5, we like more than our enemies, plus 5. So, I don't think it would really go in my favor anyway. Alright, I could just continually slaughter him. <clears throat> The Seljuk have managed to take some there. That's hilarious. Don't suppose he's facing other wars. Hmm. Hmm. Like, really? Things are certainly going my way. I don't really see that, but whatever. I guess cause, just because war score, he thinks he can win. The AI can be rather blind to uh, some things. Raise up another 500 or so men. See what else I can raise in there. 3k from vassals. Sure. So let's see if we can't get the troops together. Maybe just maybe win. Ah, Alright, so I've got 5k there. 570 and 130. Yeah. <coughs> so, we've taken back two prop... Whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't even see them there. Shit. Just retreat. Drop the levees. Yeah, alright, dropped levees. Okay. So he has managed to muster together a massive army again. That's fine. I, I'm okay with that. Um... Because I can now muster together these 32,000 men. And he's just going to waste it on several heavy-duty assaults just to retake what he once had. That's okay. Knight St. John has established a new holding in Hebron. That's good. Because I think Jerusalem's just falling apart at this point. Danish Holy War for Ascalon. Yeah. Good luck with that, Denmark. You're gonna need it. So, they have 16,000 troops and dropping. Part of their problem is really just... Don't I mean, that battle's worth a huge ton for them or something. Eh. Alright. 16,000. More than enough. Have to stop them actually and split off a couple of thousand. Yeah, they're just trying to machine gun through the castles and dying. Alright, so let's get them under 12,000 so they can walk through Haya. Haya is actually the thing that makes this hard for me. If you can believe that. Just that one province is in, in itself a choke point. Now my guys are all dying to attrition. Lovely. Luckily we still outnumber him significantly. 
and hopefully can stop him. Let's get another set up there, and another set. Bring them up to Nubia. All right, done. Yeah, I'll arrive 15 days later, but that's fine. Hopefully by then some more of my troops will have some morale. <clears throat> Wounded, damn. The con of cons. This is the moment I dread. Uh, the EL Conate comes. It's only a matter of time now. Alright, well, I can get the, uh, thing up if I assault on the 13th. Oh, 12th will do. Boom. Boom, and since these guys have nothing left that they can use to defend themselves with because they're all insta-assaulted, I can take them back at a fraction of the troop cost. Like I said, the Fatimids will have to exhaust themselves eventually. Yeah, the opinion of him, though, is still always pretty high. Raised levies is only negative eight, negative six, really? Jeez. I don't get raised levy penalties because, of course, I'm fighting against uh, infidels who are invading me. <coughs> so, free levies forever. I'm not going to stop him. Actually, I probably should. Yeah. Alright, attack. Like I said, they've got nothing left to do it. To use, so I can just retake my land. Pretty much without a fight. Three hundred and eighteen. No garrison. Very little garrison. Very little garrison. Okay. Keep those men pouring through. Oof. We will retake everything. I promise you that. I wish there was a way I could just go through and, like, take out just the cities and churches and just leave the castles. Alright, so minus 35. I've worked my way back. Still got f way too many occupations on me, though. But that's okay. There's no... I, I can finish this now. He's wasted everything he had. Just to try and stop me. You go to Alexandria. White piece. No. After all the fighting that you put me through. Really, why can't I call in my son-in-law? Uh, he's not at war. Does he have a truce with the Caliphate? Uh, who knows. Wait, if I click on him, call to arms. Oh, he's apparently re refused a call to arms from us in the last five years. Strange enough, okay. Because I do not remember this. Assault. Assault. Eh, 
And let's just retake Alexandria. Speaking of which, I think, yeah, I haven't had a court chaplain for a while. I need to get him to work. Uh, well, you're at it, assault. It's over. The war score is equal. Now it's in my favor. I'm losing, but I won't give up yet. Yeah. I want that money. It's completely useless to me. Wow, he's got a fuckload of school. Um... Yeah, to say the least, his opinions are pretty low. His, his raised levies are forcing him bad. I will. I will find him someone nice. Actually, you know what? Get out. I'm just gonna... I think it's probably best if I just took the white piece. It's probably not even worth uh, fighting him any further. Uh, levies are dropped, finally. <clears throat> and your plot. Okay. I think I'm just going to take another break, guys. That was a long, hard-fought war. Ugh. And I think when we return, I think we're going to go on an offense. And try and take over something. The Caliph is currently weak. So if I strike, it is best to strike now. Should create that. Perfect. I still don't know why this isn't coming into me. Yeah, becoming the Dijer of Denmark. <laughs> I don't think I'll let that happen. Alright, so I need to take Arabia. It's gonna be these three, pro these uh, four provinces, and I, Demadia, and that, and then I can press up into, like, along the coast. I'm not sure if I want to press up any further than Jerusalem, because touching the Byzantine Empire, we both have holy war on each other. And I don't think I can fight the Byzantines. So I may not even take Den... Like, I might, I might not even take Jerusalem or something. I might just press out le onto, into the left and retake... and take northern Africa for myself. <sighs> I like him. Yeah. Screw Ormo, we're getting another Caelphin on the throne. I did, I, I, considering my first son was Jacob, and he was originally meant to inherit. He, eh. I guess he's okay, but he has, like, wrath and stuff. Problem is, he's now, like, yeah. He turned out bad. This kid here turned out good, except for Craven. And... Being a mastermind theologian ain't great, but um, I will nominate him as my son or successor. Nominate Calvin. Therefore, my heir is unmarried. The Duchess of Toulouse yet again. 
Brilliant strategist, yeah. She's also possessed, no thanks. Duchess of Franconia. Yeah, not likely. Three year old. She's seventeen, but she's hunchbacked. Huh. <sighs> Or a betrothal, rather. No. Too lowly ranked for regular marriage. Because, of course, she's the first one in the line. Succession. Ooh, she's quick. I'll take her. Political concerns, minus two. Base reluctance, minus two. I see. So there's some kind of political concerns between the two of us. <laughs> Odd enough, I suppose. Oof. Anyway, I said I was going to take a bet, uh, take a quick break, and I think I will. So, be right back, everyone. Hey, guys, I'm back. So, we've just declared war for Demadia. Uh, turns out I have a holding in Toulouse, randomly, from... I think that the Duchess of Toulouse I married at one point. Now one of my vassals. Cool, cool. Yeah. Too far away... I'm too far away. So, I can't expect help from either of my allies. Um, he's apparently refused to call to arms from me at some point that I was not aware of. So, let's get to work. Let's try and get everyone to meet up in Alexandria. Whoa, 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 whoa. You can get a lot of troops really quickly from Cairo. Holy crap. Need to back off. Yeah, sure, you can be my new spy master. Okay. Do I have to go and pick my new spy master? Apparently I do. Okay. There we are. Research economy tech. You're not leading troops, therefore, go convert people. Oh, whoops, I've already converted them, but oh well. I'll relocate them in about six months. You're leading troops. God damn it. Alright, so it looks like I don't get to have a good uh, court chaplain that can actually do anything. Hmm, alright. Okay, so I think this is going to have to follow the same line of tactics as last time. Where I will promptly... Ay 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 I need to stop telling me to replace my frickin' court members. Just give me the best one there damn well is. God damn. Most annoying thing ever. Alright, so they're just going to kill themselves with attrition. That's cool. Not minding. Alright. That attrition is really starting to deal a bit of damage to them. Kinda odd that they're heading that way, okay. Yeah, I'm going for the army. Uh, the reinforcements will arrive in time eventually, I'm sure. But hey, if they're walking back and forth like that... And that means they aren't sieging. <laughs> Fun. Yeah, they're taking damage, so long as, you know. Alright, so we've got a fair number of them together. Uh, 
January 15th, okay, 10,087. Another 800 of them. Alright, so I now outnumber him. And on top of that, he has to walk through territory and get attritioned. Oh, good God, what? Hmm. February 9th, February 12th, 24th of March. Although, probably, I might survive the wounded as always. Yield. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So, I managed to escape that. Narrowly, but I did escape it. I don't know necessarily why we're running. We have a huge numbers advantage now. And I've got them in my career. Large chunk of their troops. Gonzo right there. The Scourge rise. And that's the Eel Conate coming in. Yep. The Almighty Eel Conate. The Scourge indeed. And I'm still having children. Wow. Alright, so I've got his, this group of troops here now, too. It would just be great if I could capture the Caliph, but... Yes, I, I'm okay with that. Alright. Uh, alrighty guys, again, I think I just need another quick break. Uh, I think the episode might be done, I don't know, we'll see when I get back. Uh, it's getting really late at night, it's like, I don't know, 2 a.m. or something. And I need more breaks. Uh, be right back, everyone. And we're back, guys, sorry, when I went to take my break, the game managed to crash on me. So we're not doing quite as well this time I reloaded from the autosave. In short, not very go going very well. Uh, but we managed to capture a bunch of guys. There, alright. It's a good start. Alright, uh, I need to call in the Byzantines, don't I? We like you more than we like our your enemies. Okay, so, at least we have that going for us. I really wish that I'd learned to, uh, or rather, I really wish the game had properly saved, like it's tried to save and then just kind of crashed. This was stupid. Oh, never mind, they got the attack off, which means... Uh, okay, but they still outnumber me massively because, you know. Call to arms. It's the Queen of France. Fine, but they damn well better answer that. Yeah, you see, that's the thing. The AI is pretty hypocritical, and I lose prestige if I say no. I barely have any troops left overall. I'm hoping the Byzantines can help me out of this pickle. Ugh. An annoying little game crash was probably may very well end up being what screws me here. Dejure war over hey not eh. Really? Yeah, I guess so. 
I'm just going to take that, that, and what. Well, at least that's looking slightly better. The, the left flank is improving slightly. The eel conate are due to arrive any day now, I believe. Or, yeah, they're due to arrive any time now. So, actually, let's just drop everything and re-raise it. 7,000 men is better than none. You guys, go here, then here. And you all go in there. As to you, and as to you guys. No, you also there. All right, and I get 278 guys from here. See if they can't run through here. Why? Hmm. Short rain fired from council. I see. Here. Placate with money. I have enough of that. Wow, Byzantines are just pour steamrolling right through, aren't they? So I may have lost all my troops, but turns out it doesn't matter. Byzantine Empire wins. Not to say I'm going to give up fighting or anything, but, you know. Alright, no longer ill, that's good. Ugh. Okay, we can do this. We can do this. Like I said, it's going to be like, I don't know, a really, 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 really long episode. I think we're probably around an hour long now. Yeah, and the Byzantines are just going to walk through. Okay. How about that? Let's just gather up my troops together and see if I can't even try and help. Good, she's pregnant. To the oubliette with them all. Gather up there. Yeah. Looks like I at least managed to smash enough of the Caliph's armies that the Byzantines can just walk through without caring. Total of zero fucks given. And, of course, you know, next up, Cairo and Sinai. Every, every, I feel like every time I take provinces off them, it's going to be easier to fight. But Actually, you know what, I think I'm just going to sit back, relax. And your plot. Before my uh, vassals get too upset, looks like the uh, Empire has it all under control. And if not, then at least my troops will be much better generated up. Yeah. My brother asked me for a fief together. Govern. I promise to arrange it. You will likely... I will probably be, uh... Getting... Taking over control of Alexandria and Egypt soon. Okay. Uh, that is me gaining everything. Okay, I'm just double checking. That's kind of early. Okay. So, take some more of Egypt. Hand it out. Okay, one title can be usurped. Definitely usurp it. So how close am I to actually being able to usurp Egypt? 34%. Yeah, because, you know, Egypt's kind of screwed up right now. 
in terms of it owning a bunch of provinces over here, where Mesopotamia used to be. So, things are going well, I suppose, for me. Positive turn. But, uh, yeah, this has been my 100th celebratory video, where I've managed to press back the uh, fatty mids and even counterattack for some more, and the left flank Christianity itself has collapsed. Joy! Uh, it's like 2.30 in the morning, so I'm going to go to bed... And I promise after this there won't be any more large number, large volume of video spam and stuff like that. Um, I'm just gonna, you know, start up playing like one episode a day. I've just been so addicted and playing this a ton and yada yada yada. Oop, I forgot to give one out, it looks like. <laughs> I'll give these two out, in fact. Just give out all the baronies. Yeah. This is probably going to be like the area I own up here. Give off Gondor and everything else. Down here. Because, I mean, Gondor is reasonably well developed. And Alexandria should be incredibly. And no, not really. <laughs> but, eh. Soon I take Cairo and Sinai. And Arabia. And then my little empire here is complete. I don't really want, didn't really want that one province, but I'm not going to complain. And I guess next episode we'll see the Eel Khanate arrive. We'll see what happens to this rather unstable situation here. And hey, it looks like Scotland finally finished off all of Ireland. You know, that's the entire... This is the entire, like, Empire of Britannia. One of the two of these people must be able to form it by now. One of the following, yeah. That's it. Oh, you need to control 80% of its de jure counties. Uh, alright, fair enough. So neither can form it yet. Alright. How about the Arabian Empire? Yeah. It's going to be a tough one to form, ain't it? Of culture group Arabic. If I ever do form it, I may just lift that because that's bullcrap. I totally deserve it. Probably not. Never going to get that big, though. I mean, Syria's falling apart. Being absorbed into Egypt. Jerusalem's being absorbed into Denmark. To hell. And that's our little fucked up corner of the world. So, I'm going to bed. Good night, everybody. And I swear I'll stop uploading six videos a day. I'm sorry for spamming your sub boxes. Speaking of sub boxes, since I'm no longer going to be spamming them, feel free to subscribe to me if you haven't already. And, you know, feel free to love like the video if you liked it. It's a lot of work for me to be playing this late at night. Um, and, you know, it always helps the channel get more visibility, helps it grow, you know, that's always great. So, uh, thanks everyone, goodbye, good night, and I hope you've enjoyed my 100 videos. <sighs> this is Kelvin.